Main story number three. Wait a minute. Oh. Can we do uh, our next next test? No. Oh, yeah, yeah. Before we move on to story number three. All right, so you, you have the option between number one, two, five, or six. One. Which means I get six. God damn, that worked out just right, didn't it? <laughs> Wait, did it? So he chose number three the first time, which means you and you got the white ale. White. Number one is Samuel Adams Black Lager. Yes. <laughs> Let's get it. And number six is the classic Sam Adams Boston Lager. Let me tell you some guys. I do not discriminate. Black, white, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> and that was fucking random. He didn't never even look in there. He didn't know where they were. Oh. Uh. I just had a good feeling. Uh, you start this time. Okay. Um, I mean, I've had... It's been a, been several years, but I've had Boston Lager before. Would I give that one? Five. Four. Jeez. Four. I think... I, and, and it's just because either that or I'm going to upgrade this to a six and make this one a five. Because I wouldn't buy either one of them, mm -hmm. but I think I like the winter lager just a little bit more than the Boston lager. Okay. Just and a little bit. I gave my white ale a five. Yep. My black lager. A six. Okay. So that's a little bit better than the white ale. It's a little smoother. It's the, it's the, because I think, yeah. Did anybody else pick up on that? The black guy decided to rank the black lager just a little bit higher <laughs> than the white ale. I'm kidding. I hate it. <laughs> it's a little smoother. Yeah. Um, oh, Does dark it taste darker? Roasted. Yes. It does taste dark? See, yes. the Boston lager, I don't want to say it's it's darker, but it, it feel, it's a little bit, to me at least, it's a little bit heavier than the winter lager. I think that's why I would rank the winter lager just a just a little bit above. Yeah. Yeah. First touch on my tongue, the black lager clears the white ale. Mm -hmm. But I hate the aftertaste of the black lager though. The aftertaste is worse. Yeah. But I still give it a six because I can enjoy it more. You know, it's kinda like taking a shot. You don't take a shot for the taste. So No, you take it to go cross eyed. Yes, sir. So <laughs> there's that review. Um Maybe we'll get to the last review before the show's over. We might. I, I thought about doing it. I'm not going to do it. Oh, playing the what we drinking yeah. deal again? <laughs> Wait, so, what did you say? What we drinking? Yeah. <laughs> Gave him an excuse. All right. So main story number three. I'm going to talk about this because, you know, we talked a little bit at the beginning of the show how this guy over here is a, a Cowboys fan. Yeah. A resurfaced photo shows a young Jerry Jones. Mm-hmm. That's the owner of the Dallas Cowboys for the uncultured among us. Yep. Young Jerry Jones with students trying to keep Arkansas school segregated. Yep. So an old photo recently resurfaced shows a 14-year-old Jerry Jones. So it's about 142 years ago. Right. Because he's like a million years old right now. Yeah. <laughs> so an old photo recently resurfaced shows a 14-year-old Jerry Jones in a crowd consisting of white students attempting to deny access to six black students at North Little Rock High School. The event, the event occurred just a few weeks before the Little Rock 9 integrated Little Rock Central High School, less than five miles away, in what turned out to be one of the biggest moments of the Civil Rights Movement. Mm -hmm. So let's pull this bad boy up. There he is. Ding, 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 ding. Where's my little... Uh, Oh man, it's just it's readjusting the picture. That ain't right. Yeah. All right. So there he is, right back here. That's fucking clear as day that yep. that's him. Even though he's a hundred years old now and he was fourteen then, it's clear as day that that was him. So you're a Cowboys fan. Mm -hmm. You're a black guy. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. When to see that. He's what he's doing now. I mean, doing back then is for stopping them. I don't agree with it, hundred percent. You right. know, stopping these black kids from getting to school. But am I going to penalize him now for it? I am not. Exactly. I am not. Exactly. One, he's Take fourteen. Fucking notes, people. One, he's fourteen years old. Now, if he was a 
25, 30 year old, I'll probably be looking at him different. But he's 14. Right. He's 14 years old. This is this is 66 years ago. Literally 66 years ago. He's an owner of the Dallas yeah. Cowboys, one of the big, biggest marketable. I think it's the biggest uh, sports like marketing like, today. I think above like Red Sox. All sports? Yes. We have to look that up. You might be right. But, you know, I, I, I feel like. Now what are we? What, what am I looking up while you're talking about this? Um, Like uh, team's net worth? Yes. But for him, like during this time, like. With him, what what he was doing back then, I totally disagree, y'all. I do not support it. I hate it. Yep. yep. Barely, I say barely by about a half a billion. Yep. Over the Yankees, Knicks, Lakers, New York Knicks at three. Hmm. They haven't done anything. I am too surprised by that. Well, that's net worth. It so, doesn't matter. Yeah, but you know how people in New York are. Well, yeah, they do have a big fan base, a huge fan base. Because I mean, look, it's, it's, it's Dallas, and then New York, New York, New York, California, and then Los Angeles. So right. I mean, yeah. But anyway, like for for what he was doing back then at fourteen, I totally dis totally disagree. Um, I do not agree with what he did, but I'm not going to punish him now. I'm sure that the players, Dak Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott, Demarcus Lawrence, Tyron Smith, Tyler Smith, all those black players that over at Dallas, they, I'm sure they had Jerry Jones had a talk with them. And I'm sure they have no Yo, hard feelings. What if we can pull together about eight billion dollars, we might can buy us some the Dallas Cowboys. If we do that, bro, start a GoFundMe or a Kickstarter or some bro, shit. Bro, if we do that, we're going to the Super Bowl. We damn sure better. If I spend eight billion on something, <laughs> y'all best make it to the Super Bowl and win. Yeah, but I I, I hate that how they're trying to put him in this. this light. The five year change is sixty seven percent. It's that's a lot. Because he only paid what? What is that? Sixty million? He paid a hundred and was that hundred fifty million for it? Hundred fifty. And now it's worth eight billion. Of course, he he bought it in nineteen eighty nine. That's a lot of money for nineteen eighty nine. Yeah, you keep talking. I'm gonna do like an inflation calculator and see. Copy it. So, but with the Dallas Cowboys man and Jerry Jones, like things like this are going to resurface. Like, I'm surprised it took this long, you know, for it to happen. But with with the way things are going, the people are saying that the cow, that Cowboys are not what people say they are. But me, me and him both agree that we still think they're top five. So they're doing better than, they're, than they normally do. They haven't been oh. to... Even by what? today's standards, he paid a little over $360 million and it's worth $8 billion. I'd say that's a pretty good return on investment. Amazing return. But I forgot what I was saying. You're talking about the Cowboys. Yeah, yeah. Sucking, they're doing, but not sucking as much as they should. They right. I mean, been. they're doing well. I'm kidding. And, you know, it, it's it's one of those situations where why did this come out at this time? We, you know, this has been out for what? This picture has been, it's, like I said, 66 it's, years it's old. It's taken 66 years ago, yeah. Right. But the thing is, it only resurfaced now, but um, I'm, I'm not gonna put him in a chokehold. I'm gonna look at him and say, "Hey, Jerry." Yeah, no, no, I'm. I wouldn't even talk to him about it. Right. Like well, six six years ago, give a shit. But but you and if he still felt that way, mm -hmm. Dak wouldn't be the quarterback. Right. Zeke and Pollard would not be the running backs. Right. Uh, I don't even know their fucking wide receivers. CD Lamb, Michael much. Gallup, CD uh, Lamb, yeah, Noah Brown, but. So I mean, there it, it it would look like the, you know, and the to, '60s era fucking Boston Celtics. It would just be all a bunch of white people. To give Jerry <laughs> Jones some credit, bro, he has done he has done some good things for the black community. I mean, I understand people are gonna say, well, during the Colin Kaepernick, he told his players not. I understand that, but you have to understand when like he has done things individually for players. There's yeah. a lot of players that went through some trouble had. Issues with medical, weed, getting in and out of trouble, but he signed them. Like Randy Gregory is one yeah, of them. If he did, if, if he wasn't gonna be doing that shit, Zeke wouldn't be. I was running back, bro. The shit that that he, he wouldn't pulled, be my fucking running back, bro. And he still paid him good money. Yeah. Mm -mm. Even though I don't think he deserves it at this point, 
That's broke. the thing. If I if I owned a, a, a professional sports team, mm-hmm. I'd probably have the worst professional sports team because I wouldn't put up with shit like that. <laughs> so I'm like you did what? No, you're done. You're yeah. out. Gone. All these really good players that are just bad people, they'd have to go play somewhere else. They yeah, play for me. Jerry Jones is not the same Jerry Jones six no, six no. years ago. So. uh Two years earlier, the North Little Rock School Board voted to integrate classes for seniors. But then Arkansas Governor Orval E. Faubus, mm-hmm. it just sounds like a racist guy, doesn't it? Uh, was largely opposed. Despite his beliefs, six students tried to enter the school with no luck, those six that are in the picture. On September 9th, 1957, Richard Lindsay, Gerald Persons, Harold Smith, Eugene Hall, Frank Henderson and William Henderson attempted to enter the school despite being shoved and having dozens of white students blocking their entry. The six students eventually enrolled at a different school based on advice from the district superintendent. North Little Rock High School was officially integrated seven years later. Dude, this has nothing to do with the story, but I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to list these names off again. Okay. Richard Lindsay, Gerald Persons, Harold Smith, Eugene Hall, Frank Henderson, William Henderson. If we weren't talking about this story and you didn't see that picture, would you guess that any of those were black people? Nope. No, those are some white ass names, ain't they? Yep. <laughs> now, is it? Do you think that's like just a coincidence, or do you think that as the years have gone on, black parents have tried more and more to give their kids weird names? Oh, no, no, not no, no, necessarily no, no. weird. Although some of them do make some weird names, but like. Like, I don't know how everybody else feels, but, like, to me, Tobias, mm-hmm. that's a black name. It's like Jamal, black name. Well, but the, the thing is, Tobias was in the Bible. Oh, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure it was. So it's, but my thing is, with them, with their names, I don't think it's more of a black thing or a white thing. I think it was just those names during that time. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. do you think that, like, as we started segregating black and white, did mm-hmm. our names get desegregated? <laughs> I think they got creative because or because we integrated, I guess. So <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Do you think like, cause we have like, I don't want to say too much cause I might be wrong, but I think some of our, well, Af- we're probably usually wrong anyway. So whatever, say some, what you want. Some of our African American <laughs> names could like, like originate from like African culture, mm-hmm. like Keontae, Deontay, like things of that nature. I think those those like tays could come from like oh, the Af- tays, yeah, like could come from African culture. Maybe that's that's my theory. I'm gonna do some research to prove it. Yeah, we need to do research on that because I don't know. Yeah, but I, but as far as like their names and everything, I, I don't know. I, I, I just I was just, reading those off and I thought that was interesting. I was like, man, none of those sound like black names, but I guess like you said, it's just the difference of the times, right? And this, like like you said, like pictures like this wouldn't resurface unless it's somebody. Of value to this day. You know what I'm saying? And somebody's looking for it. Right. Like, Jerry Jones, like, I'm just going to ask you a question. Okay. I have a couple questions, but I'm going to ask that last question at the end. Okay. If the Dallas Cowboys, they're 8-3 and right now. If they were 3-8, and do you think this picture would resurface right now? Yeah. Right now? Because regardless of the Cowboys' record, Mm -hmm. it's a rich white guy. I get that, but the they're thing looking. Is, I, I I pin no because I think because he's the owner, right? Right. If this were like, all right, this would never happen. But just to give an example, let's say that a picture resurfaced of Dak Prescott wearing a KKK outfit. <laughs> Again, that shit would never happen. I wouldn't be mad at him if he did. I would think it's funny. It's, you know, those guys were and all... he's from Louisiana. Those That's guys funny. were all like, let's get rid of the black people. And now a black dude's like, I'm going to wear your fucking uniform. <laughs> like, I think it's funny. But now if the... I would more expect something like that to be dug up if the record was bad. Mm-hmm. Because it gives you ammunition against the players, and there's the they're the ones, or at least one of the star players. They're the ones out there 
making the decisions on the field or even the coach, mm -hmm. you know, but with the owner, I think it doesn't, it's just, a, he's a rich white guy. Somebody was looking for something and they found it. It doesn't matter what the record is. I think, I think record would come more into play if somebody was looking for something either on the players or the coach, but not the owner. I say it to me, this is what I think. I think this came about because of success, because a, a lot of times we see people get tarnished or, well, if that was that, the case, this picture would have come up, what was it, two or three years ago when the Cowboys make the playoffs? Or was it been longer than that? They made the playoffs not too long ago. And they were like, everybody thought they were a really good team. They were going to go far in the playoffs. I don't know when it was because 20. It wasn't that long ago. 20. I think when we went to the playoffs 2020, but we lost first round. That's uh, what I'm saying. Like, if, it's, if, you're, if you're basing this off of success for the team, yeah, that's, that's when the Cowboys were successful. They went to the playoffs. And this this photo didn't pop up. That's true, but I think like this is a cowboy fan speaking for a cowboys. Okay. I feel like right now we have more confidence than we ever had as far as making a deep play. See, that's run. that's that's you have the the Trump supporter mentality. Really? No, like I when I'm successful, there's get there, obviously there's a target on my back. They're only doing this because I'm successful. Well, it's it's not that, and that's what a lot of Trump supporters think. Like, oh, Trump is so good and so successful. Of course, they're coming after him. See what I'm saying? Maybe, yeah. but all I'm saying Got is him. this this type of situation. I don't think this is not a reoccurring thing. Like this, as far as some picture being painted on Jerry Jones. Like, why now? You know, I hate that it happened during this time. But but, um, so Jerry Jones. He has acknowledged that it's him in the photograph. Right. He came out and was like, yeah, that's me. But he says he did not participate in protesting the integration and looked on curiously without animosity. I don't know that I or anybody, this is what he said. He said, I don't know that I or anybody anticipated or had a background of knowing what was involved. It was more a curious thing. He also noted that his football coach at the time told his players to avoid the hysteria, but Jerry Jones did not oblige. So he went against his coach's wishes to stay out of it. Um, I believe him. I mean, if you look, you got this. Here, I'll bring this up again. You got this Groucho. This is just dumbass motherfucker right here sitting here, 14 years old, probably smoking a cigarette in the dude's face. This is like a movie to me. This dude's laughing. This dude's smirking. These people are fucking filming it and all that kind of stuff. Wait, go down you, to that one guy with the shades. What is he doing? Is right he here? doing an interview? Probably. Because you see a lot of cameras around and stuff. This motherfucker looks like he's off of Seinfeld. What's that dude's name? <laughs> I don't know his name, but I know what you're talking yeah. about. He's just missing <laughs> he's the hair. But anyway, but then you look at goofy-ass Jerry Jones back here. He looks like he's just like, what's going on? Like He looks, in the picture, he even looks like he's like, he's not there because he's trying to keep him out. He just wants to be, he wants to see what the fuck's going on. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I, I believe him when he says that he was there out of curiosity rather than like actually actively trying to keep black people out of the school. I mean, what do you, do you believe him when he says that? This or do you I, think that he used to be a racist white dude over time? He's changed and he's grown. There two things can be true. Okay. One, I don't think he's lying about this. One thing I know about Jerry Jones, he does not lie. Everything he says, he means it. Mm -hmm. He means it. Like if he says, like when the debt contract was going, well, I don't know, this little hot for my blood. He meant that. Yeah. He said that even when Dak Prescott was playing well and everything, he said that. He was saying that risking to lose Dak Prescott. So he doesn't lie. He he doesn't just go he out and flat lie. out. He doesn't just <laughs> flat out lie. Like he will say yeah. what's on his mind. And that's just how Jerry is. Jerry's been doing that the yeah. whole time. My second thing is I do feel like he had, like we talked about, he it was a little racist, you know, in his blood during that time. Yeah, because all fucking white people had some racist in their blood. Fuck all, fuck, all white people now got racist in their blood. So, all black people have racist <laughs> in their blood. I mean, it's just I don't know. I, I just feel like, uh, like during that instance, he was like on the edge. Like he was like, well, right. I, I don't want to be involved, but I'm. I want to see what's going wrong. Right. So, no. All right. Question for Tobias. Question, not even for you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because this may not apply to all of our uh, listeners, but it definitely applies to you. You're still a Cowboys fan? Definitely. <laughs> definitely. I know. Yeah, uh, we played the Colts um, Sunday, 
We're going to win. We should win. I got money on that game. Mm. We should win that. Uh, but I have a question for you, though. Okay, go ahead. So the Make six, quick. The six <laughs> African-Americans that are in that photo, if they are still alive now, do you think they have any hatred toward Jerry Jones at all? Out of the six, I'd say two of them do. Okay. Because like we talked about earlier when we were talking about Republicans and Democrats and that kind of stuff, there's some people that they just they, – they hold – they 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 have hate in their hearts just to fucking have hate in their hearts. They don't, you know. Yeah, I think I've mentioned before on this show that there was, you know, when I was younger, some black person would do some stupid shit, and I would be like, "Ah, typical black person." Mm-hmm. Not because what they were doing was inherent to black people, but because it's just, you know, with my you know growing up and how I viewed things or whatever, it was just that's where my brain went. I think most people grow out of that shit. I'm glad that I grew out of that shit, but I think there are some people that are stuck. They, they stay stuck in their ways. They don't grow out of that stuff. Just like there's still white supremacists now in 20 fucking 2022. There's still fucking white supremacists. Um, so, and, and I don't think that's unique to white people. I think there are black people that as they get older, they don't, you know, they still hold that hatred, and so I'd say out of the six, if I'm just if I'm throwing guesses, I'd say either one or two of them probably still hold some animosity towards Jerry Jones, even though in that moment they didn't know who the fuck Jerry Jones was. They probably didn't even see him back there in the back of the crowd. But now that this picture has surfaced up, they're like, man, fuck that guy. And I just feel like that's yeah, just they want to be mad so they can be mad. I must say maybe four to six. You think all of them do? So or potentially all of them? Potentially. The reason I say that is because two things. One, during this time, the people that went through it have like some kind of like memory in their head that mm-hmm. they hate white people for a reason. I know some African Americans who hate white people because of the stuff their parents went through. They never live through it. They yeah. just have hatred in the heart, which makes no sense to me. But hey, we do what we do. <laughs> um, but for them and to know, like, I'm older, I'm, what is Jerry Jones, like 70 something years old now? So he was 14 in 1957, and that was 66 years ago. Okay, so he's like 80. years ago. He's 80. He's like eight, 79, 80. So 14 plus 65 is 79. Yeah. So for, for them to be 79, 80, we don't know. They're around that age. Yeah. But uh, for them to go back and was like, so this, just saying what they were saying. So this rich white motherfucker, he, you know, he owns the yeah, Cowboys. I, I went through that. And now this motherfucker that tried to keep exactly. me out is a multi-billionaire. So, so it's like some kind of resentment of, right. well, he was there and look at me. I'm, I'm not a six. They, you know, out of those six guys, how many of them do you think were, and maybe still are Cowboys fans. Because <laughs> this was in Arkansas. Arkansas doesn't have a team. That's a tough question. So I would gather, I would bet out of those six guys, assuming I'm, I'm assuming they're still in Arkansas. Probably all six, if not pr- at least five of them, were Cowboys friends. And I bet at least one of them now has has sworn off the Cowboys because this picture surfaced. I would I would say that. That question: How many were cowboy fans, and how many are, are like are still cowboy fans after this? I would say three, and maybe one still a cowboy fan, but it's not as you know supportive. Um, I do want to make another guess. I mean, I bet one of them lives in Louisiana now. Probably, you know, we're only a, board, a state border away. Right. So that's tough, though. Question is for you guys. Get in the comments. Let us know your thoughts on all this. I don't have, Oops. you know, a lot of y'all might not be Cowboys fans, so I'm not going to ask you that same question. We are going to swap the order.